Hello guys, welcome to Joseph IT Technology Entertainer. Today I'm going to show you how to reduce the megabytes of an image using Adobe Photoshop easily. And I'll be showing you two ways. So I'm going to show you our image. As you can see, this image is most probably 6.23 MP in size. This is a giant image and I just want to reduce its megabytes. Okay. So I'm going to Photoshop and going to open the image there. Okay, this is the image with more than 6 MB. So what I'm going to do, first of all, I'm just going to press Ctrl, Alt, Shift and S at the same time. <coughs> okay, when this appears, simply go to the top and find the drop down that show you high, medium, low. Okay, it is in high. So I just want to reduce its size to medium. If you want to reduce its in its base, just simply click on low. But I'm just going to choose on medium and save. And I'm just going to rename it. Suppose one. And save. And to show you, I'm going to my downloads. And the number one that is there now it is 2.12 MB in size okay it is now compressed and 2.12 MB in size but I want to show you if I have kept it in low what it would be I'm again going there by pressing ctrl shift alter and choosing low and saving it again by typing 2 okay it is there and now the file is 1.29 mb in size okay first one is 2 mb and the second one with low quality is 1.29 mb and now the last method that i want to show you is to again press ctrl alt shift and s at the same time and just simply come to the bottom on image size and type 1280 1280 and the height will be as it is shown it is it doesn't matter and simply click on save and I'm tapping the name as 3 and save okay the file is on the downloads and as you can see the file is now only 90 kb in size okay just by changing the width it is the standard width I think it's standard width 1280 by 720 but the height was more than that 853 okay now the size is only 90 kb and the quality is still there and by those two simple ways you can reduce a giant file size to smaller easily with photoshop and lastly i hope you really found this video useful if you really did so then please don't forget to like the video and share experience and suggestions to the comment box hope to see my next video tutorial until then goodbye